Good evening, and welcome to the Dublin Linux Developers Meetup. This evening, we have Vicky Toomey with EuroPython. Vicky, over to you. Hi, thanks, um, Neil, for having me on. Um, I'm just going to share some slides, um, a quick chat and overview of EuroPython. Uh, so give me a sec. Um... So um, my name is Vicky and um, I'm actually uh, based in Dublin, Ireland, and uh, I've been heavily involved in the Python community uh, since uh, like to, since 2005. Um, uh, initially, I've been running Python Ireland meetups um, till for about till around 2016 or so. And I've been running um, PyLadies Dublin um, since 2013. And I've been on and off um, running, uh, collaborating with a lot of Python related events and other uh, tech events. And um, been waiting over 10 years for your Python to come here. They're supposed to be here at 2020. And uh, thanks to COVID and COVID again, it's had an additional two years for them to come to Dublin, Ireland. And uh, so it's been really, really exciting. And it was, I just couldn't um you know uh, uh not not jump on a chance to help with your python team so i'm one of the um irish base organizers here um as the slide says they are one of the oldest and longest running python uh and volunteer holy volunteer led uh python conference um they said on the planet to me it was like in europe so um uh but they have been um and uh it's going to be held on Monday, July 11th to um, Sunday, uh, July 17th at the Convention Center Dublin. The breakdown, as you can see, uh, Monday and Tuesdays are tutorial and workshops. Um, between Wednesday and Friday is the main conference uh, where you have keynotes, uh, conference talks, uh, pa panels, uh, Europeans fa famous kind of uh, lightning talks. Um, and then there's like host of other different events that are happening as well, as well as um, that's where there's uh, such as like the maker fest which will be in the same space as where the sponsor ex exhibitors will be and on the weekend on the saturday and sunday will be a, a sprints weekend for people's um projects um so i mentioned some events that are happening at your python so um some of them um will be happening on uh, the workshop and tutorial days such as um the beginners day which is the humble data workshop uh the jungle girls workshop uh, the PPU workshop, Circuit Python for all those who want to. So that's an example of, you can see an example of it, the, the little game controller there, that's a PPU there. Um, the, the creator himself will be running a workshop and um, he will show you how to program um, PPU uh, with Circuit Python and you can try and make your own games there. Um, and Transcode uh, events um, will be on, uh, the, um, on the Tuesday, I think as well. Um, for the other events, like the Maker Fest, will be on during the conference, like uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So we'll have local makers and maker spaces showcasing and demoing um, the, the, the projects and as well as their organizations. We have general makers tables. For so, if you want to learn about electronics and make things light up or make thing make something move, um, there's something so you can actually find a maker and actually get um, learn how to uh, learn about electronics that way. And there's uh, because um, we do have um, uh, um, we do have a free kind of uh, child minding services as uh, um, available at Europython. So when you book a ticket, you can choose if you want to avail of this service. Uh, so youths can actually um, can actually participate in some some of the kind of events during Makerfest. So. The Northern Ireland Raspberry Pi Jam folks will be down from Belfast, and we have folks from Microbit UK coming over, and their partners as well. So, and then they have general stuff for all all ages as well, um, for all levels, and um, and then of course there's the um, the Irish and the Northern Irish um, tech community mixers, as well as Pi Ladies um, and uh, lunch and a community organized lunch. And we've confirmed three panels as well, CPython, the diversity panel, and the education panel, and the newly um, added mentor sprints, which is a two-hour slot during, a conf during the, one of the conference days, where uh, if you're a owner of a project and uh, you want to have um, 
more diverse kind of contributors to your project, open source project, this is a chance for you to reach out to this community. Um, so um, you can actually get um, invite people to um, work and contribute to your project. Um, you can find out more about um, these events and, and, and updated news. Um, there's a newsletter um, that is released monthly at the end of each month, and it'll give you the update of what's happening um, um, behind the scenes and also uh, what has been and uh, what new announcements uh, the, the folks and um, what new announcements we have in European. Ooh, that was a lot of stuff. <laughs> so, um, to get tickets, um, there's a few different tickets. So there's the in-person one, which you uh, covers your conference days um, and some select, so that's uh, Wednesday to Friday, and then some select workshops and tutorials on your Monday and Tuesdays. You have remote tickets, um, uh, uh, which only just recently launched. So that's for conference days only. So you can actually, um, uh, Q and A uh, with um, as, uh, on online. You can talk to, you can uh, exchange with uh, speakers in breakout sessions as well online. Um, and then, uh, and then there's tutorial tickets. Uh, so this is the the Monday and Tuesday workshop tutorial ticket, and this is for in person only. Um, and, but and you can't attend uh, the main conference. Uh, with this ticket and then combined is everything and it's in person only so both tutorials and the conference um so uh so uh, europython.eu uh, would have um a link to the tickets so you can actually see the selection they'll have descriptions as well um as i mentioned the remote tickets was recently announced um so for those who might need some financial aid um you can you can uh, apply before Sunday, third of July. Um, unfortunately, the financial aid for uh, the main financial aid has 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 wrapped up. So this is uh, financial aid only for remote tickets. Um, um, big announcement as uh, our, we have our three keynotes we've uh, announced um, and two more yet to be announced. We have Dr. Patrick Kavanagh, who has been involved in the James Webb uh, Telescope. We have Lauren Nolan, who's been involved with the Stop Killer Robots campaign, and Sam Gross, who removed the gill from Python, so people might want to have a listen at that. <laughs> and um, and let's, let's have at it and let people have a chat about that afterwards <laughs> during all those breaks, <laughs> coffee breaks in Europe. Python. So how you can help? Uh, of course, you can help with volunteering in person and remotely. Um, um, as you know, you're a Python. Um, is in, I probably don't know. EuroPython is managed by a lot of people and we're all doing it remotely. So I'm based in Ireland, but we have people based in UK, uh, based in Germany, based it's all over Europe, helping out remotely and they have like regular meetings and stuff. So um, so if you can't help in person, uh, you, can, you can do it remotely. But of course, on the day in person, we definitely need a lot of hands on helping like, you know, managing rooms. Uh, you know, uh, session chairs and, re and registration and all that. Um, if you want to be a coach, mentor, facilitator in any of our workshops, of course, we would gladly um, love you to help us out there as well. Invite your friends and colleagues to join um, you at your Python. Uh, if you have any projects that you want to hack during the Sprints weekend, you can uh, propose that as well. Um, and then, of course, help spread the word about your Python um, on your own uh, social media channels. So the call to actions, as I said before, uh, tickets, remote tickets, so I want to do shout out on that again, um, are available. Uh, for Jangle Girls workshops and Transcode events, um, registrations are still open. Uh, we are still open for makers for MakerFest as well. So if you have something that you're tinkering on and uh, or you have some code uh, that makes some robot arm move or, uh, you know, testing, you know, uh, Temper testing temperature or you know pollution and all that um any kind of small any kind of project you know we, we're looking for kind of demos uh for microfest so send them on our way there's an um application form uh you can find at europython.eu uh we're also as I mentioned before we're looking for coaches so specifically for transcode uh jungle girls first time speakers and um and also, uh, as we go on further, on-site volunteers and both volunteers and project and mentors for the mentor sprints. 
So if you have got any questions and you want to uh, collaborate, if you have any ideas, especially if we have a social event, if you have ideas that this will make an amazing social event because we have a lot of international um, people coming over, uh, do drop us a line at community at europython.eu. Uh, as I said, all the information you can find at europython.eu, we're on Twitter and there's a blog as well on all the information. And I think, uh, yeah, I think that's it. That's the end of my slides. Um, so um, I don't know if you have any questions. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know, Neil, do you have any questions? I see we also have a, another guest as well here. Yeah, hi everybody. Hello. Yeah. I'm joining you from a neighboring country of Texas. <laughs> Hello. Wow, it's, uh, <laughs> thank you. Oh, uh, uh, by the way, uh, just curious, uh, because sadly I haven't been keeping up with the news, uh, but uh, has the gill actually been removed? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I, I have the gill actually removed. Well, you have, to, you have to listen to the talk. I think I haven't been following that much along either. All I know is everyone got really excited. The whole team got really excited when they managed to get the keynote speaker. And I know that has been causing a bit of ruffles in the Python community. So I've been on and off listening about the, the guild being removed. So uh, I'm interested in hearing about it as well. <laughs> because oh, I, I'm, cool. I'm also behind the news on that one. <laughs> uh, it's uh, like, I mean, this had been like, uh, you know, Mount Everest, a very difficult problem, but uh, it would be interesting to learn if there are any pros and cons. Oh yeah, <laughs> definitely. I, I, I um, especially. I, I hopefully a more a very civil debate. You know, I'm sure there wasn't. Uh, you know, uh, um, but uh, I will. Uh, I suppose because it'll be available remote as well as in person. So I'll be interested in hearing the conversations that's happening. If anyone's capturing on online, sure, as well as yeah. like you know, we'll be capturing it um uh, on video. But it'd be interesting to hear what what what's captured online as well. So is that it? kind of everything? I suppose it's there. <laughs> will, I, will, I, will I stop sharing the slides? Brilliant. Thanks, Vicky. Uh, really thank appreciate you. that. Thank, thank you for your time. <laughs>